my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs and the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code. Today we're going to look at how to customize the text, the input text, inside of a Squarespace form. So if I go to the contact page, you'll see that I have a contact form here. Um, it's just a regular Squarespace form block. Maybe it's a little bit boring and if I type inside the text is really small and so I want to change this font to be a little bit bigger, maybe add some background color to the input, things like that. So to do that, we're going to go to Design, Custom CSS, and to help keep my CSS organized, I'm going to add a little comment. To do that, I'm going to do slash star, I'm going to type form block and then star slash, and anything between those will be read as sort of a note or a comment for you and not read as code, and that helps you keep nice and organized. Then I'm going to choose the selector. So all CSS has a selector at the start, an open bracket, and an end bracket, and between that you'll have a property, colon, value, semicolon. Okay, that is the setup of all CSS. So the selector tells us what to target, the property tells us what we want to change, and the value tells us what we're changing it to. So the first thing I need to do is find the selector. To do that, I have Chrome open and Chrome Developer Tools turned on. I'm going to right click on this code, this section, and select Inspect. Now in this box is all of the HTML or the content, and then in this box is the style. Okay, so right now because I've uh, right clicked and selected on this, it's going to have this highlighted, and you'll see as I hover over top, it selects that whole box. Then when I go over here, it tells me the style that's applied to that element or that block. Okay, and I want to specifically change the font size. So I'm looking in here and I see font size right here, meaning this is the selector that I want to target. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it in here. So I know that I'm targeting the right thing. And the property that I want to change is the font size. And as a value, I want to change it to one REM. And you'll see the text has gotten bigger I suggest using REM rather than pixel because REM is responsive to screen sizes and pixel is not. So REM will help this be a little bit more mobile friendly as well. Now, if I want to change other properties, I'm just gonna keep using property and value inside of my brackets. So let's say I want to change the color of the text. I'm just gonna put color, colon, and then I'm gonna use sort of a forest green color to go with the colors on this site. And so I'm gonna use a hexadecimal code in here, semicolon, and it's changed to a little bit of a green color. Maybe I want to add a background color to the box. And so I'm going to use background. I'm going to use sort of a gray color. Uh, maybe I want to change the font family. You can add a custom font in here. I'm just going to use Arial. And maybe I want it to be italic. To do that, I'm going to use the property font style. And then italic and so on. You can keep adding properties in here. You can change any of the properties that are listed in here, as well as any other CSS properties that target text and font. Okay, once you are happy with the look of the text inside of these boxes, you can click Save, and you're done. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you are on my blog, make sure you sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you can be notified when I post new tutorials. Until then, that is how you customize the input text inside of a Squarespace form.